much. So in this class, we will start with the chapter of the world population or CAC. So, like, after you know that in eleventh year, first physical job. Next, the physical job. So, the lands. के बारे में पता पढ़ा right? उसमें है ना हमने physically पढ़ा अब twelfth में we are talking about human geography. So, we will study human ke point of view. Like, we have population. We will be humans. We are 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 humans. We World or population, right? We will study what is the pattern of population distribution, what is the distribution density, kya hai? what are the factors, right? And factors, three factors, jayenge, geographical, economical, and social and political, right? So, we will study this. So, let's start with the chapter Patterns of population distribution. It means arrangement of the arrangement distribution of people over the earth's surface. Arrangement, arrangement, distribution of people over the earth's surface. So it is not even distributed as 90% of the world's population lives in 10% of its land's area. 90%. Kya hai? Population. Where will it live? 10%. 10% of its land area, land management. So, we can go. The 10 most populous countries of the world contribute 60% of the world's population. Out of these 10 countries, are same countries, 6 are located in Asia. So, 10 most populous countries, they contribute 60% of the world's population, 60%. And out of these 10, Six are located in Asia. Six Asia located in Asia. Density of population it means ratio between the number of people to the size of land ratio. Just say number of people is to size of land. Density. Density, na? Then, the number of people is to size of land. This is the ratio. But the ratio between the number of people to the size of land is called density of the population. It is usually measured in persons per square kilometer density of population of one area. So density, how is it measure? Persons per, square, uh, person per square kilometer divided density of population upon area. Some areas are densely populated, like North Eastern USA, North Western Europe, South, Southwest, and East Asia. Some areas are densely populated. Densely populated. North Eastern USA, North Western Europe, South, Southwest, and East Asia. And some are sparse. Like near the polar areas and high rainfall zones near the equator, while some areas have medium density, like Western China, Southern India, Norway, Sweden. See, so this was density. So we'll see the three factors of influencing population distribution. Three factors. So the population distribution influenced by three factors: geographical. Three factors are geographical, economic, just when I have to economic, economic, and last is social slash culture. 
actually an and actually some sorry guys my flash leg up here so these three factors determine the influences population distribution these three factors population distribution uh influence can be the influenced by these factors geographical so geographical mein hum kya padhenge naam se sunna geographical environmental land fertile soils right so is hum padhne wale hain environmental or natural factors such as land forms fertile soils suitable climate for cultivation availability of adequate source of fresh water are the geographical factors some geographical factors are land forms climate soil and water so flat plains and dense stretches are preferred by people because they are favorable for production of crops to build roads and industries climate area with less uh, variation attract more people matlab less seasonal variation they attract more people soil areas which are fertile loamy soil have more people living on them as they can support intense agar the soil jo fertile hai which is loamy also and loamy fertile loamy so they have more people living so zyada log wahan reh sakte hain because it can support the intensive agriculture intensive agriculture support karne ke liye soil jo hai fertile and loamy hona chahiye soil so it would attract more people and more people can live there because it can support intense agriculture what people prefer to live in those areas where fresh water is easily easily available because it is the most important factor of life water of course is necessary because it fresh water sabko pani ki zarurat hoti hai na whether it is for bathing whether it is for washing clothes for making cooking food and water is necessary it is a necessity so this is the important factor for life so these are the geographical factors ab hum log economic factors pe aate hain so places having employment opportunities like environment uh, rich areas industrial units and urban centers have high concentration of population some economic factors are industrialization minerals and urbanization so economic factors mein teen cheeze aati hain one is industrialization industries minerals and third is urbanization when this is to provide job opportunities and attract large number of people so industries jo provide karti hai job employment na employment opportunities jobs to people so it attracts large number of people economically socio because because people need to earn the earn money right earn money so doing some so doing some jobs or something so they provide job opportunities theek hai to attract and it and it attracts large number of people so economically here have minerals mineral deposits uh, attract industries mining and industry generate employment minerals say be people it attract industries you know and industrial activities which generate employment it will also job opportunity it also attracts people urbanization of course urbanization put civic amenities and the attention of city life city life draws the people to the cities cities may urbanization urban right these are the economic factors and the last uh, uh, point social cultural factors places having religious importance and cultural significance are also very densely populated people religious religion and cultural significance these two things also attract people and this one in social and cultural factors they are also densely pop very densely so we have uh, covered till social and uh, those three factors in the next class we will start with population growth the components like the cdr cdr and the migration and we will finish with uh, we will finish the chapter 
uh, by uh, like day after tomorrow we we'll finish with this chapter. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys like it. Then please subscribe to my channel, and I hope uh, you're liking my information, my teaching. And please feel free to comment whether if you have any doubts, I'll surely help you with that, or whether you want me to improve on something, I'll surely do that. So thank you, guys. I please take care.